Nigeria because Nigerian schools have welcomed back final year students ahead of their exams. Learning institutions were closed as part of measures to cope the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. Authorities have put in place stringent safety guidelines to avoid students contracting the disease. The government is assessing the situation to determine when orders can return to the classrooms. Here is more details of that. Getting thoroughly screened before being allowed onto the school premises. This is part of a new process at a boarding school in Lagos, Nigeria. It was not always like this, but COVID-19 has changed everything. It's really an unusual way of, reason, of reasoning, um, but because we wouldn't really want anybody into, into the compound, so we are making use of a car park. As you come in, you sanitize your feet, every part of your body, as you are coming in with the sanitizer spray, and then they go to the doctor who check them. All of these measures are taking to prevent any spread of the coronavirus at the school. The management of the school is... Uh... They are like parents to the students. As I'm leaving this place now, I will not entertain any fears that anything will happen to my son. Inside the school compound, measures have been put in place to ensure social distancing. Now this is what social distancing means in a classroom setting. Normally this classroom would seat 30 students, but it's been reorganized and rearranged to seat just 12 students, just to ensure that the students are spaced apart in line with the requirement for social distancing in this city. At another school, physical learning is also taking place in the classroom, but again, not in the usual way. Social distancing is clearly the order of the day, and dressing is incomplete without a face mask for both students and teachers. As soon as we heard that schools were going to resume, we were enlightening them, we've told them what we require from them. There'll be no food in the school, they're supposed to bring food from home, they're supposed to use their face masks or we will not allow them into the school. If you're sick, you stay at home, you're not supposed to come to school. While students seem to be adapting to the new normal, some say the hardest part is a sense of detachment caused by physical distance. It really hurts. It hurts very well because Seeing your close friends, you just say hi, hi, instead of you coming close, hugging each other and say, what's up, how has it been? But we have no choice but to abide by the law. Leading the monitoring team to assess the situation, the State Commissioner of Education expresses satisfaction with the level of compliance in place. Well, I think the schools are aware of the social distancing rules. They all have the prerequisite water at the beginning, the temperature gauge and so on and uh, the social distancing in class, I think they are quite aware. And uh, as time goes on, it's just that they should remain aware and not relax. Only final year students can attend school for now. The government says it is still monitoring the situation to determine when others can resume.